major refactoring, so major major changes. So what happened in the branch to be released? And did you see the numbers? So the number of the comments is quite quite high. With it. Uh, we got uh, almost uh, 3,000 uh, comments to release the one point two branch. So what what did we really change? What's what's new? This. <laughs> The short answer is uh, a lot, and the long answer is actually a lot. <laughs> um, this, this actually is the stuff that's uh, not a complete, complete change what we omitted here, the stuff that is already made for the two, two months old. So let me just briefly uh, talk about the, the highlights of the complete change. So, what we're serious about is. Uh, it's um, cutting things away from our dependence chain because uh, mm, oh, people people like to, to run network manager and networks possibly uh, in in, uh, in many scenarios and a lot of these scenarios uh, involve uh, uh, doing as minimal installation as possible. That's uh, um, when it comes to consumption of resources such as memory. But also the dependencies we we write in. We didn't actually improve the memory consumption significantly in 1.2. We we have some some things uh, planned for 1.4, but we didn't manage to do that. But what we did is that we got rid of some of the dependencies. You can see that we uh, for new local addresses we actually started to use the systemd network based library so that we, we don't need to drive in an external tool and for the hostname management we also offload it to systemd so um, there's more of this to, to come like the, the stuff that's taken well care of by, by systemd or going to distribute away from network management we also the deepest view thing is it's not that you've got a huge, huge refactoring. So if you, those of you are familiar with uh, the Gili, know that uh, Gili already provides uh, provides the bus client library for some time, GDBus. Um, Network Manager predates this library by, by many years, so we weren't really able to use it, but now we, we did a complete Refactor of all the bus making code to, to use it so we could get rid of this. Yes, it depends on it. It's quite, it's quite nice because it, uh, it implements some, some nice stuff. Uh, it does provide such as the, the object manager, it makes the, the method manager both simpler, more robust in the interface. Also, more, more maintainable because we're, well, that's, that's the case when you're using more modern interfaces. Um, we've done some improvements in the Wi-Fi area. Uh, notably, we'll be we'll be enabling Wi-Fi power set by by default. This is a feature contributed by Canonical, who actually does phones that uh, that run network manager. That's a good. Anyone has here has a Google phone. Okay, those are essentially network manager phones. So. Improving Wi-Fi as well. Yeah, uh, WBA application will go a bit uh, better lately uh, in managing the Wi-Fi scan list. So we, instead of uh, using like our own custom code to try to which uh, network card all those as well at least uh, WBA application provides now, which is not the same again. The five utility we provide uh, and the CLI. We had some very nice improvements there. Um, but there are not huge changes there. Uh, like you, you probably noticed that we we aren't really doing any huge changes in network manager overall because it's, it's a major, major project. It's a sort of, sort of stable feature complete for, for most users. So we were doing like incremental improvements, making the both more, more maintainable, slimming down, adding Small enhancements, mostly. But the uh, last one, the color up is actually my favorite. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. If you're, if you're using an SCI open, then you'll get to, to use to this really, really quickly. And if you're not using an SCI quickly, then you probably should. It's a really, 
nice to like especially for the for the user to do the quick or command line and I think there's a lot of developers here who are exactly in that crowd that would when you're connecting to a live site that here you, you prefer to use that in my command line. Super easy with uh, an CLI, you just do an CLI, device Wi-Fi, connect name of the network in your app. We're doing some improvements in the VPN area as so well. You probably know the network manager integrates with uh, well, virtually any VPN that is actually used. We have the plugin architecture, so we maintain a set of plugins for the most popular VPNs, which is open, open VPN, the IP based IP based well, identity tunnels we, we do support. Uh, Cisco compatible and Juniper compatible networks with open connect. But there's also some community maintained VPN plugins uh, such as uh, tunneling through SSH or iodine which does the VPN over a tunnel or DNS. In case you're in a particular local environment you, you use that. But uh, the VPN plugins they are rather standalone debug services and it, it used to be difficult to, to make that the, the plugins connect to more than one VPN at the, at the same time. We fixed this now, so you can run more instances of VPN connections at the, at the same time, which is, which is sort of nice. Thing. And there's a, there's a lot more. Um, I'm not sure if I should agree this, probably not, but uh, the important points there are that we are obvious. Oh, there's a, uh, in the Wi-Fi side, you probably noticed that we are now running on the, the Mac address randomization. Uh, for, for now, it's for, for scanning for network, so it, it protects you from, from tracking until you actually associate with the Wi-Fi and then your actual MAC address is used. We're probably going to even further enhance this in uh, Network 1.4. Um, only there that we cannot really by default use a completely random MAC address because it could drive certain network operate, operators like that. But it seems like there's a way to, to to make sure that when you connect to the same network, your MAC address stays stay, stay stable, and when you move into another one, that you actually use that another randomized one. Um, we're doing something like this already for the IP link addresses. You might, you might know that the, traditionally the, the whole part of the IP link address is, is uh, derived from your MAC address, and that, uh, that worries the the people who care about the bug tracking. So for Android Manager 1.2, we implemented the uh, RC7212, which uh, introduces a way to use a unique uh, host bar for each, each network, and uh, but change it when you when you move to another network. It, it essentially, that's a, a cryptographic hash of uh, certain strings that uh, identify the network, such as the subnet, the uh, Wi-Fi SSID, or in the network manager, the identifier of the configuration of the, the network, and a secret key, so it's not predictable for anyone to use which, uh, to, to predict which uh, host part we're going to use, so it's impossible to try. We're thinking about doing something like this, this for the MAC addresses in Wi-Fi, so that you it's not possible to, to try to when you when you connect to connect to different uh, different network, but still maintain some stability. Like when you when you return to the network, you get the same address. Uh, just want to get out that we, as I said, we are mostly doing like small improvements, but sometimes the small improvements really really matter. Like uh, for the for the user to care about the privacy, this, this is the thing. Here, but we are, we are improving. Also, notable feature is that we support creating of uh, many more types of the of the uh, creating and management of uh, virtual devices, which is nice for for the servers. Uh, for the servers, you might know that we already support all the like, typical network devices that we will be able to do previews and uh, VLANs and bonds and. And we also 
My question is for one of the, the next version, uh, was like one of four, I think. Uh, the namespace uh, support sounds pretty really interesting. So, is there, what's the plan actually to uh, for the user to specify which application should be in which namespace with which connection? Is there some plan for that, some GUI or something? Well, uh, as for Ethernet 1.4, there's like no real plan about anything yet. So we need to we need to figure this out. We, uh, obviously, the first thing we'll do is to expose a debug API that uh, uh, well, uh, to the connection. We already expose on the debug API to have any information about the space. And then, um, then we would need to figure out how to do uh, how to do the test of integration. So we probably need to, to have some API to so that the uh, Application in the in the best of request some process to be moved to the to the interface because it's a pre-release operation. That's uh, we have not been even yet at the drawing table there. So we will be considering this, but not that next.
Tak, je to vaše. Takže. Tak, chystej se. Mikrofon máš tady. Když se budeš držet někde na pódiu, tak by se to mělo chytat v pohodě. Aha. Ale když budeš tam úplně mluvit, radši vlastně nic. Já budu teda spíš tady, protože pak budu ještě dělat jako to, to, to demo. Takže... Jo, OK. Uh... Ale to tady si to píšu, že jo? Takže tohle si tady připojím, jo? A mělo by to jít... Si takhle zamykáš jako notebook? Jak zamykáš? Ne, je to jubiký, je to jubiký a tím to vytáhneš. Co, čím to vypojíš? Já jsem si myslel, že to je takový ten zamykání těch notebooků, víš jak. No co, v minulé práci jsme to museli dělat, jo? Strašná blbárna. Jo, máš to připojený? Máš. Zkusíme to, Zkusíme to přihodit, lepší se nám to povede. A. A. Jo? Dobrý, to si myslím, že to je ono. Ale je to, je to větší? Je to větší? No, trochu to zrozávat, jsme měli problémy a levou část, to zrozávalo, ale to je Zmenšit terminál, a nebo si to zmenšit tady. Jo. Já vyberu ten stejný a měl by se to Tak Jo, super. Jo. Je úplně super, že máme rok 2016, ale každý, kdo chce spolehli vyrozchodit dva monitory, používá x Tu Tůlu z roku 80 prostě. Jo, jo. je to. Jo, ale jako... Tady nikdo nebyl, no. Takže ne. Ještě já si tady trošku zkusím, ne, ne, já to, to jenom se potřebuji podívat, jak, jak to vypadá ty doma. Mm-hmm. To je jako velikost toho písma. Ještě, počká, to jenom zkusím spustit. Tak to je jedno, to 
to není ani otevřené, tak zařadíme zpět do prostě. Okay. 